Hi, my name is Yuji from Agri Innovation Hub. Agriculture is the backbone of the Kenyan economy, and so we have taken it upon ourselves to shine a light on Agri based companies and their products. We'll review and expose innovative products to farmers that will make the farming journey easy. Today, we're excited to visit Aquahub Kenya, based in Utawala, Nairobi. I'm happy to introduce the CEO, Ms. Mary Mushai, and she will talk more about her venture, Karibuni. The motivation behind it, as for me, is I grew up in Naivasha, where we have so many greenhouses, and you know, like, the women who work there are stereotyped as poor and unlearned. And so I wanted to change the narrative behind working in a greenhouse. And so this is what motivated me to come into this sector under irrigation and basically do greenhouse construction. So us to show the world that the women who work there are not always unlearned. They can change the perspective and be learned and also earn money through the greenhouses. Decent and yeah. What are cultural enslavements? So in this line of nets, we have a variety of uh, different types of nets. We classify them as the agricultural nets. Like for instance, we have uh, bird nets. This is what you call bird nets. They, have, they allow pollinations in your, maybe if you're doing strawberries, these are the ideal ones for you to allow pollination as they keep birds away. We also have uh, insect nets. These are what you call insect nets. They keep away flies and insects from your greenhouse, so they are ideal for greenhouses. And then we have shade nets available in different ranges. We have them in 30% to 90%. Ideal for your crops, to put shade in your crops, to also keep birds away. Uh, good for nurseries and also if you're doing export, they're also good to uh, help you in getting the targets of your export market. And we have them in different shades, that is in black and also in green. Those are the variety of the different shades agricultural nets that we have. Okay, so why would you say that agricultural nets are important to farmers? Okay, for the agricultural nets, in, in cases where you, the areas are very hot, like Wajir, Garissa, also the northern part of the country, Matsabi, Tisiolo, you need the nets to prevent your crops from the direct sunlight. So that's the key aspect of the nets. Okay, and what are the different types of like the gauges you have for the, for instance, the shade nets have been 30%, 55%, 75%, and 90%. All this depends, the type of net you use depends on the crop you're doing and also for what purpose. If it's for just the grown crops, the overgrown crops, all the nursery. So they are different uses depending on the stage of your crop. Okay. With climate affecting rainfall, Farmers are being encouraged to store water. What are some of the dumplings that are available that you have? Okay, they, we have a variety of the dumplings, like in different gauges. Like we have 0.3 mm, we have 0.5 mm, 0.75 mm, and 1 mm. All these depend on your location in terms of the soil, like the surface that you're going to install your dumplings. For instance, if you have raised wheat, the fish, the dam liners are used for fish ponds, are used for silage storage, and also for harvesting water. So, like the different pages, as I said earlier, for 0 0.3 mm is used for silages. For it to be ideal for silage, it, it helps keep your silage intact as there is no aeration inside, and also the, it's not it keeps it away from water since it's well well closed and closed in there. And then we have the 0.5 mm to 1 mm. Those ones are, are ideal for fish ponds and also for water harvesting. But the factors you consider when choosing the dam liner is the surface where you will be storing it. For instance, if you're doing a fish pond in a raised ground where you do it on uh, what do you call it? the wooden structures, you will do the lighter one, which is 0.5 mm. But if we are installing it's uh, you've just dug a hole and the soils are very rocky you have to use the heavier gauges that is 0 0.75 and 1 mm that makes it the ideal differences on where to use the liners what are the uses the liners have 
the key the main use is to help in the storage of water especially in those areas where rainfall is scarce like you can do an underground liner an, an underground water pan or just a surface water pan where you have this water you know like the dam the lifespan of the dam liner ranges between three years to ten years depending on the gauge so like with that it helps you to conserve water for longer seasons until you wait for the next rainy season in your area. And how long do they last? They last between an average of three years to ten years, depending on the gauges of the dam liners. Does it, how, uh, how does it affect the operation of the dam liner? You see like the gauges, you have the lighter one which is 0.3 mm and then you have the heavier one which is 1 mm. So like you find the the material in it, the heavy one, tends will stay longer than the lighter one. And also, the place in which it will be used affects its lifespan. Yeah. Tell us about propagation sets. Okay, when you talk about propagation sets, you're talking about seedling trays, planting bags, planting pots, and also the media in which you use to plant to these trays. We have the cocoa pit and also we have pit moss. The, the importance of using this set is it gives you 98% germination of your crops better than using the normal seed beds that we do on the ground where we use the normal soils just because the soil is affected by nematodes and other things that's why you're not able to get the 98% growth but when you use the seedling trays and the propagation media either the pit moss or the cocoa pit you're able to get healthy crops and 98% germination. And this means you're, when you're transplanting your crops, they won't be affected by the new environment. They will just catch up and uh, grow up well, healthy and uh, healthy. Okay. Yeah. So do you have any other products that you deal with? Yeah, like we have the greenhouse polythenes. We have them available in 200 microns and also in different colors. Like we have the yellow green papers, basically used for the horticultural crops. And then we have the clear papers. Those ones are, they are ideal for solar dryers. When you're doing solar dryers, either to dry your farm produce, those ones are the ideal ones. We have a, pro, a variety of pipes, different gauges. I, when you're using, if you're setting up your systems, you need the pipes. So like we have them in different sizes and you can purchase them depending on the, the farm size, your farm size. So we give them together with their fittings. Farmers have been asking so many questions about irrigation. Has it been pumped to use the technologies that are involved? They basically, they have not been serviced well in the past and they've been trying to find out where where specific shops are located so you would like to inform on that okay basically when we talk about irrigation system we talk about the wide variety because we have a lot of things printing from the greenhouse polythenes the drip lines and all the accessories we have the nets the agricultural nets we have a lot of things so irrigation, we have the drip one, as the drip line is the major irrigation system that people resonate with. And then we have the overhead irrigation. And for you to choose the right irrigation system for yourself, there's a lot of things that you have to consider in terms of the topography of your land, the water source of your area, and the crop you want to farm. So these are the basic things that you have to consider while choosing the irrigation system you want. And we not only sell, because we want to create a long lasting relationship with our customer, so what we do, we first guide you on choosing the right irrigation system. And after we guide you on that, we can also we set up the system for you. And we also help you in doing planting, timely planting, so that you can get better prices for your produce when you get them to the market. Yeah. Also, I would like to know, as in an irrigation system, it doesn't come in one package. Sure. It's something that comes with parts. We'd like to know as it, according to the products that are here, what can you use to make? 
other products that we do have, we have the HDP pipes and fittings, we have the drip lines and the drip accessories. And for the drip lines, we have them in different spacings, like 15 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters. We also do 45 and 60, but as special orders. Those ones you have to order them, but it depends all these factors to consider your the drip spacing depends on the type of crop you're doing. So like we have all that and they also offer assistance when you need guidance on what to do with your farm, we do that as well. We'd like to elaborate more on the prices, about the prices of some of the agricultural products that you deal with, specifically propagation. Okay, you know, like the prices depends on volumes. Like, if if you want to do them on wholesale, we have a price for that. If it's a retail, we have prices on that. So, like basically, our prices we have retail and wholesale prices, and this depends on quantity. Yeah, the quantity you take will give prices for that. But basically, we have a we are affordable for smallholder farmers, medium-holder farmers, and also organizations are affordable for everyone. We cut across. So you can at least moderate prices for everyone. Yeah, we cut across. And also our services are tailor-made, depending on a customer's budget and a customer's need. So we don't have like a specific price for something. We tailor-make our, our services. Like if you need a greenhouse, you tell us the size of, of the farm, we do a quotation for you. We tailor make these solutions to farmers because we believe that every farmer needs a different solution to their problem. So we first understand your problem so that you can create a solution that is affordable to you. The Aqua Hub is not a very known organization as per now, but still growing exponentially. We would like to know the, the awards that the credentials that you're holding as for now. Okay, as, as for me, Mary Moshai, I'm one of the co-founders of Aqua Hub. So like I have uh, been recognized by several awards, such as Zuri Awards. Zuri Awards is this recognized women who are doing great things to do, to have social impact in the community. So I was featured, I was a nominee 2021 under the agriculture category. I was also a nominee of the Founder of the Way of the Year Africa Awards, Agripreneur of the Year under 30. And uh, I was also a nominee of Top 35 under 35 Agriculture category. And I was also featured at Score Africa magazine. These, all these recognize young people or women doing things that are having a social impact on the community. Yeah. I've been featured in those, I've been recognized by those several awards.